Hi everyone, welcome back to so we look at natural nail prep now. So I've got my cuticle pusher and my nail file. I am doing this on my own nails. My own nails are absolutely rubbish. They'll come into shot in a minute. Um, they're quite red, quite sore. There we go. You can see that I'm just pointing to sort of a sore part. I don't recommend you do it on a client if they come to you and their fingers are sore, but I'm doing this on myself, so obviously I'm not likely to sue myself. So I'm going to show you how to prepare the nail ready for acrylic application or gel polish application or hard gel. So the first thing you need to do is push back your cuticles. If you are e-file trained, you can of course use your um, cuticle bit and go in and remove um, the dead skin from the nail plate that way the more skin you can take away the less likely you are to have lifting so this part is really important we do concentrate on it so as you can see now I'm just using the other side of the cuticle pusher to get into those cuticles and really take away as much as that dead skin as I can you can see in that corner there must be something a bit stubborn there and now I'm going to take my file I do use a 100 100 grit file. Um, most people would use a 150 on a natural nail. I just use one file for everything. Um, I wouldn't use a brand new nail file on a natural nail. This nail file has been used, so the grit isn't quite 100 100. And as you can see, I am using the opposite side, which is the side that's been used quite a lot. So I'm making sure I get into the side walls. And if you can see with my first finger, I'm pulling away the skin so I can really get into those side walls. Um, it's really important you do that because that's where it is going to lift. If the product's going to lift anywhere, it is in that area. Um, some people do it with a white block. Um, I don't find you get into those side walls, into those grooves enough. Um, so you can see we're not filing the hell out of that nail. We're just removing the surface shine so the nail goes nice and matte didn't take very long and then we're just dusting away the um, dust you can see there the nail is nice and matte there's no shiny surface to it I've clearly got in all my edges which is great so now I'm going to go in with CJ CJP even dehydrator you don't need a lot I always do two coats, so I'm brushing the first one on, as you can see it does spread and travel. Wait for that one to dry, you can see the nail goes matte again, and apply the second coat, just in case you've missed an area, second for good luck. And then ready to go in with our primer, so I use CJP Acid Bond, which is their acid based primer, um, I really do you, you can use a non-acid based primer but I just prefer to use an acid based, I feel I get a better adhesion so I put one coat on now, I would apply that to all 10 nails, wait for that one to dry as you can see I'm showing you it's quite shiny, it will go matte as it dries and then I will apply another um, coat of primer just before I apply the acrylic because I find that works much much better for me. And I usually do that once I've fitted my forms. So that's normally the routine that I do. So I'll apply one coat of primer, put the forms on, and then go in um, with the second coat of primer just before I apply the acrylic. So that is all for this video. Pop back to the next one, which will show you how we fit a form um, and cover a little bit on nail biters. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.